Hello friends, I'm Sandy Scroggins. I am here today to show you how I made 14 cards using the Keller's Creations Thanks Bunches Card Connection Kit. The pattern papers were so much fun to work with and the cut aparts are so cute. For adhesive, I used Art Glitter Glue and my ATG gun. All of my cards are standard American A2 size, which is five and a half by four and a quarter inches. For measurements, please visit my coordinating blog at thecraftybean.com. Now let's get started. For my first card design, I used card sketch number 82 by Operation Right Home. I cut a piece of dark yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of white flower pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut another piece of dark yellow cardstock to three and a quarter by four and a quarter inches and adhered the thank you for all you do cut apart to it at an angle. I adhered that to the card. Then I adhered one of the yellow circle cut aparts to the bottom of the thank you cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my second card design, I used card sketch number 14 by Operation Right Home. I cut a piece of brownish orange cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of brown polka dot pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to one by five and a quarter inches and adhered it to the right side of the card. Then I adhered the thanks a bunch cut apart to the center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my third card design, I used card sketch number 547 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of brownish yellow cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I adhered a four by four inch piece of heart pattern paper to the center of the card. I cut a piece of brown polka dot pattern paper to one and three quarters by four and three quarter inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. Then I adhered the thanks for being you circle cut apart to the center of the brown polka dot strip. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my fourth card design, I used card sketch number 531 by Mojo Monday. I cut a piece of craft card stock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of yellow card stock to two by three and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card at an angle. I cut a piece of yellow pattern paper to one and a half by three inches and adhered it to the card overlapping the yellow card stock. I adhered the thanks bunches cut apart to the card overlapping both the yellow card stock and the yellow pattern paper. Then I adhered the white flower circle cut apart overlapping the thanks bunches cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. 
For my fifth card design, I used card sketch number 416 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of 4 by 4 inch brown polka dot pattern paper to 2 and 3 8 by 4 inch and 3 and a quarters by 4 inch and adhered them to the card. I adhered the pink Many Thanks circle cut apart to the right side of the card. Then I adhered three gemstones by Picket Fence Studios to the card. Two in the upper left hand side of the card and one to the bottom right of the Thanks Bunches circle cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my sixth card design, I used card sketch number 286 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of orange polka dot pattern paper to 5.25 by 4 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of 4 by 4 yellow polka dot pattern paper to 1 and a quarter by 4 inches and 1 quarter by 4 inches and adhered them to the card. Then I adhered the thank you circle cut apart to the right center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my seventh card design, I used card sketch number 408 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of dark brown cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I adhered the 4 by 4 inch heart pattern paper to the center of the card. I cut a piece of 4 by 4 yellow polka dot pattern paper to 2 each 1 and a quarter by 4 inch pieces and adhered them to the card on either side of the heart pattern paper. I cut another piece of the yellow polka dot pattern paper to 3 eighths by 3 inches, cut a fishtail on both sides and adhered it to the card. Then I adhered the thanks 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 circle cut apart to the yellow strip. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my eighth card design, I used card sketch number 457 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of dark brown cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of brown flower paper to 3 and 3 quarters by 4 inches and adhered it to the top of the card. I cut a piece of pink swirl pattern paper to 1 and 3 quarters by 4 inches and adhered it to the bottom of the card. I die cut a border out of orange cardstock and adhered it between the two pattern papers. Then I adhered the thank you square cut apart to the center of the card. I was able to make one card with this design.
And here is the completed card. For my ninth card design, I used card sketch number 561 by My Favorite Things. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of pink swirl pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of orange swirl pattern paper to three and a half by two and three quarter inches and adhered it to the card at an angle. I adhered the thank you from the bottom of my heart cut apart to the center of the card overlapping the orange swirl pattern paper. I adhered the flower cut apart overlapping the cut apart and the orange swirl pattern paper. Then I adhered three gemstones to the card, one in the upper right hand corner and two in the bottom left hand corner of the orange swirl pattern paper. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 10th card design, I used card sketch number 537 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of heart pattern paper to five and a quarter by four inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of dark pink polka dot pattern paper to three and a half by three and a half inches and cut a wonky half diamond out of it. I adhered that to the top center of the card. Then I adhered the I appreciate you so much cut apart to the left center of the card. And here is the completed card. For my 11th card design, I used card sketch number 37 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of craft card stock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a one inch strip from the strip cut apart sheet and adhered it to the left side of the card. I die cut a border from dark brown card stock and adhered it to the left of the pink swirl strip. I punched a two inch circle out of heart pattern paper and adhered it overlapping the pink swirl strip. I adhered the thanks bunches circle cut apart to the right corner of the heart circle. Then I adhered three gemstones to the card, two in the upper left hand corner and one on the right corner of the thanks bunches circle cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 12th card design, I used card sketch number 419 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of dark brown cardstock to five and a half by four and a quarter inches and adhered it to the card base. 
Taking the remainder of the strip cut apart, I positioned it at an angle on the card, turned the card over, and cut away the overhang. I adhered that to the card. I adhered the, you're the best, cut apart to the left center of the card, and then I adhered the pink flower circle cut apart to the right corner of the, you're the best, cut apart. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 13th card design, I used card sketch number 95 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card base. I cut a piece of flower pattern paper to 2 and 1 8 by 4 and 3 quarter inches and adhered it to the right side of the card. I cut a piece of dark orange polka dot pattern paper to 2 by 3 and 3 quarter inches and adhered it to the center of the card, overlapping the white flower pattern paper. I cut a piece of pink polka dot pattern paper to 1 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarter inches and adhered it to the card, overlapping both pieces of pattern paper. I cut a piece of brown polka dot pattern paper to 1 and a half by 2 inches, cut a fishtail on one end, and adhered it to the left of the pink polka dot pattern paper. Then I adhered the, thanks again, circle cut apart to the card, overlapping the brown banner. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. For my 14th and final card design, I used card sketch number 3 by Freshly Made Sketches. I cut a piece of craft cardstock to 5.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the card. I cut a piece of pink swirl pattern paper to 1.5 by 4.25 inches and adhered it to the left side of the card. I die cut a banner out of dark brown cardstock and adhered that to the left of the pink swirl pattern paper. I cut a piece of purple flower paper to 2 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half inches and adhered it to the center of the card. Then I adhered the pink flower circle cut apart and the thank you circle cut apart to the bottom left corner of the purple flower pattern paper. I was able to make one card with this design. And here is the completed card. And here is a look at the 14 cards I made using the Keller's Creations Thanks Bunches Card Connections Kit. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and please give me a thumbs up. Also, please let me know which card is your favorite in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.